You're watching HFO TV. Welcome back to HFO TV. I'm Aaron Kirk Douglas, Marketing Director at HFO Investment Real Estate. Here with me today is Andy Haas, shareholder of Bittner & Haas, which opened its doors about 30 years ago this year. And uh, his practice includes representing multifamily property owners. Welcome, Andy. Thank you. One of the topics you've written about recently for apartment owners is on the subject of marijuana laws. So uh, I was wondering if you could tell us, first of all, how the landscape has changed for apartment owners over the last few years in this area. Well, the big change is um, up until about three years ago, um, the big change or the, the big issue was it's illegal in Oregon and Washington, and so you could, you could uh, prohibit it. But there's this thing in under fair housing law called reasonable accommodation. And because of the Medical Marijuana Act in both Oregon and Washington, uh, a lot of people who were holding medical marijuana cards were allowed to ask for what's called a reasonable accommodation. And the landlords would basically be required to allow them to use medical marijuana in their properties, even though it was still illegal for most people. Mm -hmm. The big change was a few years ago, both Oregon and Washington Supreme Courts held that, that because federal law prohibits it, that um, at least in an employment situation, it was not a violation of employment law to say, no, you can't use medical marijuana. And in Oregon, anyways, the uh, Bureau of Labor and Industries has ruled that that applies to fair housing also. And so landlords in Oregon are not required to give a reasonable accommodation anymore. And so that they can treat it as an illegal drug all the way across the board. It's not as clear in Washington. And then the other big thing that's happened in Washington, obviously, is it's been declared to be legal right. uh, under state law. And so now the, uh, the landlords are having to deal with that issue. Um, do landlords have any government restrictions on how they treat marijuana users in their apartments? Well, like I said, the fair housing law is the big one in, in, um, that did apply, not anymore in Oregon. So there really isn't any restriction in Oregon. It's treated, most of my clients, treat it as an illegal drug, don't allow it to be used. Um, some of them are giving accommodations even though they're not required to for people with medical marijuana cards. In Washington, we're still trying to figure that out. Um, the, um, it, they may have to, to give a reasonable accommodation for medical marijuana up in Washington, we're not sure. Um, and now that it's a legal drug, um, most landlords are treating it just like smoking. So if they have a no smoking policy, they can apply the no smoking policy to marijuana just like they would. If somebody's not smoking it, if they're just ingesting it, then it's a big question. Right. It probably doesn't violate their rules uh, depending on how their, their um, rental agreement is written. So do you know when the law is going to change in Washington? Has it already? And you know, when will you have a little more definition around that? The law went into effect, I believe in December, as to allowing consumers or uh, to use marijuana privately under state law. And so that's when it became an issue with most landlords to determine how are they going to do it. And most of my clients are treating it just like a no smoking policy. So if, if they don't allow smoking, they're not going to allow smoking of marijuana. They, uh, some of them have changed their uh, rental agreements to say any drug that's illegal under state or federal law, mm -hmm. we won't allow. And that way they can basically keep it out. Mm -hmm. um, we, we don't think there's going to be any clarification on the reasonable accommodation mm -hmm. portion up there. Uh, most of my clients are just treating it like any other reasonable accommodation under fair housing. Okay. And what happens if a landlord suspects their renter is growing marijuana? Well, it's going to be treated just like any other violation. So normally I suggest that they go in and they do an inspection. If they find it's being grown, um, they, they give a termination notice. Um, most, most of my clients don't warn for that type of thing. They just give a termination notice. Okay. And so depending on which state it is, you know, whether it's a 10-day a, a um, with cause in Washington or a 3014 in Oregon, that's the process you'd follow. Okay. Well, thanks for joining me today, Andy. And thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on HFO TV. Thanks for watching HFO TV. To learn more about HFO, call or visit our website. See new listings, apartment news, videos, and more when you download our apps at the Android and iPhone markets.